I'm not the only one who brought this up. Someone, Dominique Foxworth on ESPN brought it. I think a lot of people kind of putting the, connecting the dots here. It's obvious. I mean, the, the Falcons are going to rebuild. They're going to get a new coach. Matt Ryan's old. He's expensive. Um, it's highly likely that the new coach will say, I'd rather draft a quarterback, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, than try to make it work with this expensive old quarterback who doesn't move so well. Um, and so it, if that's if that's if we agree on that, would a Kyle Shanahan Matt Ryan reunion in 2021 be beneficial and make sense for both sides? Absolutely. Um, that was Matt Ryan's MVP year, um, and never really never got to a conference championship again. Got to the playoffs, but never got to a conference championship game again. And with the 49ers' weapons they have, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle, Raheem Moster, it absolutely makes sense for Matt Ryan. And then when you look at the makeup of the two quarterbacks between Garoppolo and Matt Ryan, Matt Ryan's like, like it's not even a question who's the better quarterback. So that's if the 49ers are getting rid of Garoppolo, it's going to be for an improvement. It's not going right. to be for a project. And Matt Ryan is definitely an improvement, as you've spoken plenty of times. The Shanahan's like older veteran yeah. quarterbacks and that's i think it's a perfect move for both parties jose yeah yeah i've been i've been back and forth on it but i, I it's definitely something i can envision shanahan doing i don't think they should do it but it's you know just think of his mind he's gonna be like oh hey that ryan's available come on down man because we we needed to take advantage of this window we have now and, I, and especially if, depending on how this season goes if Garoppolo is still like similar to what we've been seeing this season so far from him then he's going to be absolutely with zero patience, extremely pissed, and he's going to be like, hey, I just pretty much wasted a year because of poor quarterback play. I need someone I can trust. He's obviously on the downward slope of his career, but at least he's, he's still – I still think he's probably a better passer than Garoppolo right now. And so yeah. he figures probably, yeah, let's go for it. Um, So, yeah, I definitely can envision that happening just for he wanted. I don't think that that's the route they should take, but, you know, sh knowing Shanahan and this weird quarterback – like infatuations, you know, Kirk Cousins, all this, such, so on and so forth. I love C.J. Beathard. You know, I definitely can envision that happening. Yeah, I, I could see, if, I could see Ryan being uh, attractive to, uh, to Shanahan. I my my thing is, uh, I'd be a little nervous with him uh, back there. He doesn't move very well, um, and and I think really the direction, and you know, a lot of people have been pointing this out, is is the need to have quarterbacks that can move around, even you know, uh, be able to get outside the pocket, make some plays. Uh, is Ryan still really able to do those kind of things and, and, and avoid the rush that he'd be facing here? That's a good point. Uh, I don't think he ever really has been able to do that. I mean, he's not a complete statue like Philip Rivers, but he's close to it. And he did have his most success with Kyle Shanahan. You could argue Shanahan had his most success with Matt Ryan. Um, so to me, I think it would make sense. And another way it would make sense, we just talked about how this Niners team has no veteran leadership. Zero. Matt Ryan is kind of like the ultimate veteran leader. And not only that, he's Mike McGlinchey's first cousin. So he'll get Mike McGlinchey hitting his weight, playing better. He'll hold him accountable. I mean, I actually think Matt Ryan could have like a Joe Staley effect on the team. I mean, it seems like that's been his reputation. I've never covered Matt Ryan. I don't know if he's uh, a fraud or if he's the real deal like Staley is, but I, I think actually he would be – much more of a leader than Jimmy Garoppolo is right now. It's hard to lead when you're in and out of the lineup. And it's clear that your head coach doesn't even trust you. And when things go bad, takes the ball out of your hands. I mean, how do you lead when you're undercut every step of the way from Kyle Shanahan? I mean, I don't think Shanahan can't do that to Matt Ryan as much. Uh, my dad is calling me right now. Dad, I'll call you later. I'm sorry. I love you. Um, so, yeah, I think it does sorry. make sense. The one thing is, though, uh, if it were me, like Jack said, like you wouldn't want to bring in an expensive old quarterback who can't move. I, I've been watching highlights of this Trey Lance kid. Ooh, I like that guy. I like him a lot. Um, and the thing I like about him, he actually has experience under center doing play action passes, bootlegs, rollouts, turning his back to the defense. Now, all of his receivers are wide open all the time because he plays at North Dakota State. But say that was the same thing for Carson Wentz, Steve McNair, it's okay. I, I just like his athleticism, and I think he actually would be fantastic in this offense. I don't know if Shanahan has any uh, desire to coach him up. I don't know if he can play right away, but have you guys seen him? 
I haven't seen him yet. I was going to get to it. Uh, now he, because he pretty much already opted out for the season, right? He's working on the draft. Check out Trey Lance. 